Hello everybody, welcome to the first annual Do Try This at Home with your host, Mr. G. Just to mention this is the first episode and the first annual Do Try This at Home. Okay, now what we are going to be making today is a toy parachute with some household items. First what you will want is some white string or yellow string, doesn't really matter, you don't want it to be too thick and you don't want it to be too thin. This string helps it so it is very strong and it will not ever break. Second what you will want is some duct tape or scotch tape, I will prefer um, scotch tape because it is more lighter than um, duct tape or whatever kind you want, but yes I would, would pe prefer um, scotch tape. Second what you will need is a screwdriver or a pencil or something to poke a pretty round hole into your bag. Second what you will need is some um, scissors, it doesn't really what color or kind, just some regular scissors. Third what you will need is a regular plastic bag that you would get at your um, local, you know, grocery store, you know, whatever. Regular food plastic bag. You don't want a really heavy plastic or glass, plastic or metal or whatever. You want a plastic. It doesn't need to be too tough because all you're going to be doing is dropping it off or something. Okay, now when you're done with this project, it should look something like this. Oh, and you will need something to attach it to. Believe it or not, the parachute actually works pretty freaking good. This is what the finished product should look like. It does work. It's free. Look at that. This is how you make it. Okay, first off what you want to do, take your garbage bag and scissors. Okay, first you want to do is open up the bag completely so it looks very good. Make sure there's no holes in it. That's something you want to do. Make sure there's no holes in it. Okay, this looks pretty good. What you want to do is you want to get the bag. You want to cut off the handle things that you hold the bag with. So you just want to cut all around it. I would prefer to like flatten it out and put them both sides to be a lot more simple and quicker. Okay. Just cut around it so there's no handles on it anymore. So then it should look something like this with no handles on it. Okay, then what you want to do is cut off right the middle. So it'll be two strips. And you find the point. Okay, so what looks like it's right here. So cut up all around it. Very simple to do it. It takes about five minutes every time. One of the sides aren't going to come out back right, so you're going to, only, going to only be able to use one half of the garbage bag. Which is pretty disappointing because the first time I did I thought, oh sweet, out of one garbage bag you could make two parachutes. But if you're lucky enough, you can only be lucky. Because usually when you're cutting it out, it won't turn out right and on one side of it. It'll be cold from you cutting it, it'll just won't turn out good. Okay, now I've finished that. And your finished product should something look like this. With no handle, handle, just one strip. Just like this. One easy strip. No handles, no, no nothing, no holes, nothing. That is your parachute so far. Go okay, here comes the simplest part of all of all. Now you, what you want to do is take your garbage bag, screwdriver. On each point of the bag, you want to poke a nice straight hole. Just do that, nice straight hole on each four spots. Very simple. This takes about five minutes of your day if you don't have anything else. If you don't have anything else to do. Okay, since you have your um, things cut out, I don't know if you can see it all, but on each, each four sides, see if you can zoom in a little bit more. Each four sides, there's a little hole right there. Right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. This is where it is. Right there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but 
that's what it looks like in each four ends. It's too hard to show you each four ends, but that's what the finishing product should look like. Okay, we're almost there and we're almost done. Now, what you want to do, we're almost done. Since you got your um, four sides cut out, just making sure, making this as flat as you can. Now what you want to do is you don't really need your um, plastic bag right now to set that aside. What you want to do is take your string. You don't want it to be too long. Um, just enough for it to, you know, just be able to hang the strings. You don't want it to be longer, really that much longer than the rope. It doesn't have to be perfect. Well, let me let me kind of strip that bit bit. Come on, Oops. Stuff is not. Nothing's turning out for me good today. Nothing. Okay. So I want to do about maybe 12 inches a foot. You know, 12 inches a foot. Okay. So then cut it out. It doesn't have to be exactly. Just like that. Okay. Then you take your string again. This long. You can see. Okay, that's about maybe 10 or 11 inches, something like that. Take it each side. You want to make the strings the same exact size. You don't want them to be like 3 inches and, and 7 inches and like all this different. You want them all to be about a foot long. Okay, so just line them up good. Right about there. Now you want to make four strings. Okay, whew. Finally we're done, I cut out four strips of string all about the same size as you see here. All the same exact size. Okay, now what you want to do when you have your four strips, when you, you want to take your garbage bag, your strings, and you want to take your clear scotch tape or any kind of tape that's clear and, um, well it doesn't have to be clear, but but very light. I would, I would prefer scotch tape. To zoom on it. You can find this all in household items or you could go to the store and get it for about a buck. It comes in about a three or four pack. You see that? Very simple. You could go and buy that. That is scotch tape that you could use. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to take your strings. Zoom on there. Okay. Take your strings. Put one for each hole. Now you want, and if it, if the hole isn't open enough, you can take your screwdriver or whatever you're using and just kind of open up the hole a little bit more. Mine's like hardly even open over here. Okay, so there we go. Ow, I hit my freaking funny button. That hurt. Okay, so then what you want to take each. Oh, that really hurt. Take each one. Stick it through. Okay, and what you want, ah, that really stinks. Okay, then take each end, set it through there. You want about maybe an inch, inch and a half when it's sticking out. Then you want you want to take the tape, take it over there. This is what it should, should look like. I just still get, put the um, shrink through the hole and taped it on the other side. See? Okay, then you want to do that for um, each. Okay, everybody, I just finished the product. And guess what, guys? When you do this, you are practically done. Now, all you need to do is get something for the end. Or, you know, you, if you want to, you could just tape them. Tape them together if you don't really have anything. Well, no, technically, I don't. So I'm just going to kind of tape them around so they won't come off when they're in mid-life. Funnest freaking project, and this thing, this thing works better than you just going out and buying a four dollar toy parachute. You can make one in your house for practically free if you have these products. Household products. No, okay. Then you just. All right, guys, you're done. Look at that. You just created your own. Homemade parachute. It may look like it's a piece of crap, but actually, it's good. Now, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna go try it now. Let's. Okay, here's our product right here. Let's go test it. Okay, come on. Got a balcony. Ready? Three, 